All right, welcome back in. Uh, today, we are going to do a follow-up video of this one. Uh, remember, I showed you how to build this little guy right here on this one with the cute little round window. What I did not show, I explained, is that there was another option that you could use a wooden shelf, like maybe the tiny ones if you wanted to, uh, but you needed a double thick wall, and I didn't show that. So I'm going to show you today what I mean. So if I take out the first level, so you can see now I have this too thick, and I took out the first level of it. I'm going to use the shelf. Now, this is a little tough. In fact, actually, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to go back and put one block on just so I have a guide. So I, I need to have a guide because when I place... So let, we're just going to put it in here and try something real, real quick. We're going about the lowest. And then I'm going to put one of these on here. What I don't want, obviously, is I don't want the pot to show up over to where you could, like, uh, like if it was that high and you could see the pot over the wood. I just want the flowers to come up. So it looks like to me, if I just place it where the... Let's see if I can get it and knock at the window. If I place it where it just pops in, right? There. So now I got it where it's just placed in. So let's get rid of that block so it's not in our way. All right. So now we take our pots. You got your little little tiny guys and this is a smaller window. I, I'm doing it on this one instead of this big window on purpose because these these really are tiny flowers. Um, and you want to think, okay, do I want this window to be inset or do I like having this nice big window box on the inside? Preferably in my case I would, but there might be a reason you want it set in. But for our case, we're just going to do this. Keep in mind that this uh, wood, if you look at how the window is, see that there's about a little bit more than this pot of width between it and the actual wood and then if you look at how this sets up how the fancy stone shows you've got this section where i'm hovering the pot over that has kind of dirt like and then you have this back section that almost looks like tile when it places so what we're trying to do is get in front of this section which this wooden little beam section right here if you look on this where i've got my plant the pot hovered is kind of where it has that tile look so that means i don't have a heck of a lot of space to place this because i'm trying to get it essentially in front of that and i really have very little space so let's just put it right there and we'll, we'll kind of mix them up. We'll put some different colors on here in different spaces. I don't want them all a perfectly straight line, so I'm going to sink a little bit off like that. But let's do a different color. Maybe this one has some yellow next to it. Maybe this one crouches in real close. Kind of like that. All right. And then, uh, let's do some purple before we do that white again. We'll take the purple back just a hair. And then bring the white in. S just sneak it in right here. Just like that. And then we'll do the same thing. I probably didn't bring enough. I, I brought them a little too tight together. But I don't know, maybe you're going to put something else here. In fact, you know what, I'll go grab a... Oh, I can't because I'm too low. I was going to go grab another pot, but that's not going to work for us. Because it's too low. We'll just put that like that. That's not bad. I like it. Okay, so now let's see if I can get this thing without... Am I on the shelf or am I on the plant? It looks like I'm on the plant. Oh man, getting this shelf isn't going to be easy. Helps if I hit the right button, not the wrong button. You know what? I'll do it this way. Get off of that. No, I, th that, I think that's it. There we go. All right. 
So we're going to put these back. And we're going to put all these back. Then we're going to go over to our fancy stone. We're going to do just like we did over there. So you can see, even though I put it right up there, it's it's just, I put it as far out on that shelf as I could get, and it's right at the very edge. So it, it can be a little twitchy. I actually like the hanging better, uh, but that only gives you two options. It gives you the option of the long one and one of the round ones. So you have this option and this option if you want to do it as the hanging, the square, and the big uh, pot belly and the little bitty guys you do not have a hanging option so in lieu of the hanging option this is what you would do it's going to be a little bit tough to get it just right i've tried before putting the shelf on it first without doing a double layer and the problem is it's really hard to figure out where exactly this line is but that let's try real quick just for completionists here. See if we can't uh, center those a little better. Alright, so if I were to place... Well, actually, I do want to do that. I want to place one block. Let's put it off to the side. Just We just need a marker. That's all we need. A guide, if you will. We're going to place this, center it on there, and down far enough that that pot will disappear. About there, maybe? Let's take a look. Yeah, no, that works really well. So now, what you would do, of course, so it looks like center is going to be somewhere about there. Maybe even back just a hair. So we'll kind of set that one there. Just kind of pick and pose with these guys. Don't put another purple right next to that one. Put that there. Maybe let's go with one of, one of these. Kind of mix them up in here. Yeah, looks pretty good. Now, let's see if I can get this shelf without getting anything else. Haha, <laughs> that looks good. Very good. Now, get my hammer back on. Fancy stone, here we come. Of course, I need to get rid of this extra. There we go. So that's an option as well. So you don't actually have to do it double thick if you want to... Uh, have it centered on what looks like the dirt area and I think that looks very nice uh, it's it's different than having so here when we're using the big the long trough one and the two uh, round ones you get a much more full look like there's a bunch of the flowers whereas here you're getting a much more dainty kind of like Almost like the, the new flowers of spring as they first start coming up. It also gives you a little bit more freedom than these do, because this you just hang it on the wall and that's the spot you're putting. And now it happens to be perfect, but this one you get a little bit more freedom of how you're going to place it. You could do different pot sizes if you want. You're going to have to play with the shelf adjustment if you're going to do different pot sizes, but it works quite well. All right, thanks for watching, everyone.